All right, welcome back. Now in this session, I'm just gonna be going over the views very quickly just so you're familiar with some of these views while you're creating your solids. Some of them are very nice to use and different matters. And I uh, just wanted to let you guys know about them a little bit. So if you're not familiar with Mastercam or any of these previous versions, come over here under the wireframe. There's a wireframe and there's a shaded. Okay, now these are very nice to use depending on what you wanna see. For example, if you extruded cutting these holes and you really can't see through this part, that's when a wireframe would help. If you click on a wireframe, you'll be able to see through the entire part. Now, if you wanna do certain kinds of wireframe, for example, no hidden wireframe, you'll only see the parts that you're, you'll be able to see, okay, if you're looking at, at a normal view. Now, if you, left, if you click on the scroll button and move it around, you'll be able to actually see also, get a better idea of how the 3D model looks like. Okay, now if I come over here under the shaded, now you can click on outline shaded, and that will keep the edges throughout the entire part. So any edges that exist will remain on the part. If you click on the down arrow next to it and click on the shaded, that will remove all the edges. So remember that edge that was right here? Now it's removed and it becomes one solid part. Now my favorite thing to do is keep it on the outline shaded. That gives it more of a 3D look and actually uh, it looks just like SolidWorks. SolidWorks is one of my favorite programs and it keeps everything from SolidWorks to here very similar okay so that's something very uh, very important to know uh, in wireframe and shaded again the biggest one that I use in wireframe is the main wireframe which shows me the entire wireframe of the entire model so if there's anything on the inside of the model that I really want to see I can click on it and see if I missed anything that I just can't see from the isometric view that I have it on but if I'm very confident with what I'm doing, I can always keep it as shaded and it keeps everything in a 3D model view, just like SolidWorks is. Okay, so this concludes our session. Just wanted to show you the wireframe and shaded views.